Well, I think this is going to be another one of them uh, wishing I listened or paid more attention to my dad when I was growing up. He was an amateur radio uh, enthusiast. And you can see I hooked up my cheap uh, Chinese inverter wrong and blew out one of the fuses and of course they solder them in the cheap 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 uh, setup they got here I think it was like twenty dollars for a 400 watt inverter so I think I'll uh, see what I can do see how much I can destroy it I can't hurt it too bad for 20 bucks I'll buy another one if I can't get a fuse put in well, <laughs> it wasn't the greatest job, but uh, I got them two out of there. Them two fuses were blown. I'm going to uh, run to Walmart and see what I come up with, I guess. And uh, if I can get a couple fuses and drop in there. Uh, hopefully I'll get this little inverter running again. <laughs> if it works, I got three or four other ones that I've uh, blown the fuses in, I'm assuming. So I guess we'll take a look at them if I can get this one to work. Well, Walmart, of course, didn't have the 25 amp fuse is what I need. So I got 30 amp. They only had 20 or 30. I went with a little bigger. I know that's probably the wrong thing to do, but we're going to give it a try. Well, there we got, uh, got them soldered in. Ain't the prettiest looking job in the world, but I got them in there, so we're going to put it back together and see if she'll work. Well, it's do or die time. I'm going to bring this out here to my little trailer. My bucket windmill has been turning a little bit today. I tried to tell how much it was making, but it didn't work so well. So... Take this and hook it up. And I'm pretty sure I won't hook the ground to the positive again. Okay, we got that there. And hey, how about that? We got power. Now let's see if I can get anything to power with it. Well, this is kind of a bad test. I, uh, Kind of hooked these this up in here because that little 400 watt inverter wouldn't kick on on my little battery. The battery must be too dead, so it wouldn't it wouldn't power anything. I should say. So it is working. It's got some power going through it, so that's the main thing I wanted to check. So we're good for now. Well, now I think um, master mechanic that I got that uh, converter running. I dug out the old two old ones that I had, an old Black & Decker plugged into a cigarette lighter and I'm going to see what I can do with it and the 200 watt Chicago Electric uh, Chinese job. The Black & Decker one, I used that a lot before. Uh, it's only 100 watt. <clears throat> I used to charge cell phones and stuff in the cars with, with that when I didn't have a cell phone charger. Uh, well, they had, one time I left it and it was cycling on and off and I didn't have enough power and it blew something in there. I'm hoping it's just a fuse. We'll see in a minute. Yeah, this one's got a different style fuse in it. Uh, can't tell if it's burnt. I guess I'm going to have to uh, get my meter out and see if there's uh, continuity through it. I don't know if I'll be able to do this one-handed or not, but... Uh, these two points here should make contact. Yeah, I can't do it one-handed, but I, I'm pretty sure that fuse is blown on my little 100 watt inverter, and um, I can't get contact when I touch it. So that one looks a little bit trickier. Uh, I guess I'm not going to hurt anything when I if I try to unsolder that and put a new one in there. I'm going to have to go to Radio Shack and show them what I got and see what uh, what I can make of that. 
and uh, we'll go from there see if I can get this and running again well this is a 200 watt inverter and I jumped that there's only one fuse on it and uh, I jumped it and that doesn't seem to be the problem here that fuse is good so it must have burned up something else and that was cycling on and off with a low voltage so I guess anyway we're one for three tonight got the 400 water back running but the 200 to 100 watts gonna have to wait <laughs>